Hey, welcome back to the Caboodle Greenhouse Project. I made some progress on it. I've been waiting a while to get just the right time to get out here and work on this thing. Had a lot of things come up. Family issues come up at times and family comes first. So that uh, puts everything else on the back burner, but I don't mind, that's the way it goes. So get you updated on what we're doing here. I did get both the end walls done on this greenhouse. As you can see here, let me show you a little bit what I've got going on. I had to come up just a little bit off the cement wall on the back wall here to allow myself a little room for the roofing material to come down. And if I want to put a gutter on, I'll have some room to do that. So that's what I did there. Otherwise, you come over this way, look up at the top here, oh, off center here. Right up in there, I built a little saddle up there for the the beam that's going to go in to sit in you're going to attach that and then come on down over this way you can see uh i had a lot of angles to work with here so it took me a while because i i had to build this on site i couldn't pre-build this wall but uh it's coming out pretty well it's the slope of what i wanted this slope to be for the part of the world that i live I wanted it to be, on paper, I had it at a 45 degree slope and the other wall I had on paper as about a 43 degree slope. And as I was building this and I was working with those numbers and with the cement that I have in front of me, I ended up with 44 degree slope on both sides. So I think being within one degree is uh, uh, acceptable for a person who's got a little bit of OCD like myself. So that's this end. I've got one crucial mistake that I made and I'll show you that in just a minute. Before I show you the big mistake that I made over here, I just want to take a moment to thank all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and put in a comment, like, share this video, my main goal with this whole thing, aside from having uh, my own food year round, is that I'm hoping with these videos that you guys out there will maybe consider making one of these yourself. If not one exactly like this, maybe get some ideas from this. Customize it, make it your own. You can make this exact same thing that I have here. Uh, you can scale it to whatever size you need. You can go as big as you want, or you can go down to quite a bit smaller design if you like it's up to you i just hope that this inspires you to think about it come up with your own plans and make something so you can grow your own food uh, the food supply for my family is something that i want to make sure that we always have the stuff in the stores nowadays if it's not in short supply the quality is just horrible if you've ever experienced the uh, like a fresh tomato out of a garden and then you compare that to uh, any tomato you buy in the store just think about why is the tomato out of the garden why does that taste so much better do your own research and you'll find out probably why there's a lot of good things with growing your own food the taste of a tomato is the easiest one to tell a difference you can tell that they're doing something to the food whether it be putting preservatives on them, techniques of growing, not sure, but that goes with anything you buy for produce anymore. So I'm doing this for my wife and myself, but I'm not gonna live you know, forever. So my main goal is to provide a constant source of food for my children, my grandchildren, even the great grandchildren I haven't met yet. If I leave this for them, mission accomplished. They will never go hungry. It's big picture, if you look back in history, there's been some times where food wasn't always plentiful like it is today. And growing your own food or the ability to grow your own food is uh, pretty key. Do you really think I'd be going through all this if I didn't think this was important? And I live in a kind of remote area, so it also saves me of having to go to town so much and going through the grocery stores to shut next to those pajama wearing people that I can't stand in grocery stores. So anyway, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. 
and the main beam that I'm building for this is taking me a little bit of time so rather than have one long video that no one wants to sit through I decided to put this into two separate videos for this portion here and I'll separate and put a separate video out just for the beam probably with the install and all that so when I had the cement poured for this thing I told the cement contractor what I had in mind for dimensions and he did exactly what I told him and as it turns out that was uh, the wrong thing to do because I read my own blueprints wrong and told him the wrong dimension on one thing let me get this in there. Well, got my ladder right here it's actually frozen in the ground right now but I told him that I have a doorway right here so the cement wall comes across and I needed a little cutout in the cement for the doorway I was going to put in. I had to do that because I needed to drop the door down to get in the greenhouse because I didn't have that much wall to work with to install a door so it worked out really well to cut this out. So I told him I needed it two feet from this wall to there. I needed it 22 inches down and so on. So he did exactly what I told him, except when I told him two feet from the wall, it's supposed to be two feet from the outside of the wall, which is 10 inches over here. So my door is 10 inches too far that way. And that got me all messed up for centering the door at the top. Uh, it, it messed me up because I had the shorten the header i wanted to put a taller header in above that door because the beam comes down on that it's my mistake i'll live with it i'll move on but other than that the other mistake that i made was just assuming that the cement walls would be perfectly plumb level square well i guess they're for the most part they're level it's cement it's kind of self-leveling for the most part but uh, it's not completely square not completely plumb not completely straight and when I went down and I attached my boards to the anchor bolts I just slapped them right down didn't even think about it because I'm not that smart I guess but now I'm having to make a few adjustments and I'll show you what I'm talking about here so you're looking at the uh, back side of the greenhouse here and I got this back wall here I just put the board down and I never even looked at it until I was well into the project but as you can probably see there's a little bit of a swale on the wall which isn't the end of the world I can fix this but I wish I would have spotted it sooner before I put this board down because when I go to put my rafters in coming down I need them to be the same length and to hit this board at the same point so I'm going to come through put a another board on top of this to cap it off I'll snap a snap a line and make sure that's straight so when I bring my rafters down that everything's consistent for measurements and I got something uh, that's going to look a lot better than something sloppily put together. So that's where we're at for right now. My next step is creating the beam that's going to go across from peak to peak and that is 36 feet in distance. I have to go find some friends to help with that because that's going to be a heavy thing. I'm going to try to see if I get my tractor and loader in here to position that. I am going to put uh, two posts. I got some cement pads down there. So I'm going to have two posts off those going all the way up to the top. And then I'll uh, get that all in position just right. And it, I could probably get by with just a, a ridge board. Might be a little bit easier and stuff like that, but uh, I'd rather overbuild it if I have the opportunity. So the ridge beam is going to allow me to uh, put a little bit more weight if I wanted to hang some stuff off of it and not have to worry about putting too much stress on the roof structure. Should be able to hold just fine. So the next step will be the beam construction, and I'll be showing that in a future video coming up.